Hello everyone! The pig spider differs from other popular crawlers in its focus on fixing SEO issues. You can find more than a hundred of various reports with detected problems in our tool. Moreover, we have provided a detailed description of every issue in the informational panel, with explanations about how it hurts your SEO, how to fix it, and several useful links where you can read more about it. Let's discover how to use Netpeak Spider to detect unusual or tricky SEO issues. We have a huge variety of settings and reports to detect problems that are often missed. Let's start exploring them. To perform the most comprehensive website audits, we developed highly customizable crawling settings. You can change any of these options every time you have a new task, or save any configuration as a template for further use. Let's start with the first tab, where we can configure crawling speed. It may help you if you want to test your server during the high load using 40 or 50 threads at once. And opposite, if your server is weak, try one or two simultaneous threads and not push the server to the limit. If your website contains elements that are displayed with JavaScript, try enabling JS rendering feature and double check if the code was executed properly during the crawl. After that, you can specify location and types of documents that you want to crawl. For example, if you need to analyze only pages in a specific folder, enable first checkbox and enter full folder path into initial URL field. And at the end, uh, if you want to crawl several domains at once and get all the reports within one program window, enable multi-domain crawling. It's available for all pro and premium plans users. Then we have advanced settings where you can choose either you want to consider or not crawling and indexing instructions, following links from different tags, allowing cookies, crawling relative canonical URLs, and so on. So let me explain how it can help you. To get a complete list of website pages, ignore all crawling and indexing instructions, except of canonical. Thus, even block pages will be added to the results tables. If you are working with multilingual websites, hreflang is your high-priority optimization focus, so enable this checkbox and use hreflang-related reports in the tool. We have more than 10 of them to better optimize your linking between different language versions of your website. The same logic for other tags. To find more pages with problems, enable these checkboxes. And before going further, I want to remind you that if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in comments below or during an online demonstration that you can book following the link in the video description. My colleague will show you the functionality of our tools and answer all your questions personally. And also, if you enjoyed this video, I would be happy to see you clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. The next tab contains option to configure Virtual Robot CXT. Here you can test different versions of this file without implementing any changes on your website. Using scraping, you can get any data from websites, for example, prices, links to images, number of reviews, and many more. You can even check for thin content pages, such as categories with low number of items for e-commerce, and a lot of other use cases. By the way, we have a dedicated video about this feature and link to it will appear in the top right corner right now. But still, let me briefly explain how to use this feature. To get any product detail or other content, you need to enter expressions using XPath, CSS selectors, regular expressions or contain search that point to a specific content in the source code of the page. You can either find those expressions using a dedicated feature in the browser's developer tools, or upgrade your skills and find the path using the text specifications in HTML code. On the user agent tab, you can set any value of this server request header. 
I usually recommend crawling websites several times using the most popular user agents, such as Googlebot, Bingbot, Chrome, and our own Nitpick Spider. Make sure that all the results match your expectations, because it's a widespread problem when server responds with many more issues for a specific user agent. And if this user agent is Googlebot, we're in trouble. So, nobody can be 100% sure that everything is fine, but if you double-check, you can avoid all the aftermath. The same for, HTTP, for custom HTTP headers. Check your website using different values of those headers that affect content of the web pages. It may be a SAP language if you work with a multilingual website, or if you want to check if your 304 code works properly, try if modified since header. And also you can customize cookie request, cookie request header if it's necessary for your task. We all practice unique approaches when it comes to composing meta tags, and different websites tend to have different numbers as normal bounce rates. That's the moment when restriction tabs may be useful for you. Here you can set your own preferences for detecting some specific issues. For example, tell Netpeak Spider that all pages that has more than 5 or 6 external links should be marked with the corresponding issue. Or if normal bounce rate for your website is 60%, tell that all pages that has more than that should be marked with this issue. Also, in the top of the, on the top of this page, you can set some crawling restrictions, such as number, maximum number of crawled URLs, maximum crawling depth, and so on. In case if you need a limit crawling by a specific part of a website, give the rules tab a try. Here you can include or exclude pages by part of the URL. For example, set conditions that will include pages that contain product, so it's product pages, and exclude all blog articles. It helps you speed up the crawling and focus on the most important pages for your task. If you want to check your content on spelling mistakes, tick on this checkbox, add necessary languages, and fill the ignore list. You can add as many languages as you want from Windows Language Center. Adding more than one language may help you if you work with multilingual websites or you have comments and review sections where different languages may appear. If you have access to the website's account in Google Analytics and Search Console, you can add them in the corresponding settings tab. I want to assure you that it's completely safe. All the data is stored on your computer and never transferred to our services. You can get analytics data on user behavior, goal completions, performance in search, and also data by each query you rank for. Thus, it's easier to spot SEO problems that require changing content of the pages. For example, if you see too many relevant queries from Search Console report, I would recommend you pad optimize your content and increase semantic similarity for these pages. And the same works for Yandex Metrica. If you work with a website that uses these services, you can add your account on the corresponding tab. Then we have export option. You can get reports in XL6, CSV formats, or upload it to Google Spreadsheets straight from the tool. You can set your preferences on, on this tab. Then authentication. If you work with the website that is still in development stage, you can enter your credentials to pass the basic authentication on this tab. Just enter your login and password, and program will use it every time it sends request to the server. It's not that obvious, but even proxies may help you find hidden SEO issues. For example, try adding proxies from different countries or regions to double-check if server responded with correctly localized version of the website for exact city or language. If you are crawling the website to create an SEO audit for your client, we have a special weight label feature for this task that is available for all pro and premium plan users. Here you can add your company logo and enter contact details, 
so they will be added to the audit of optimization quality. Here is how it looks. Your contacts on the first page and also all the way through the report, on the top and bottom. And of course, at the end, with CTA and clickable links. Segment is basically an upgraded filter. This feature lets you dig deeper and explore all the issues for a specific group of pages and rebuild program reports. I have already recorded a dedicated video about this feature and, as always, a link to it will appear in the top right corner right now. Let's run through some examples here too, so you can get the basics. Let's try using all pages, let's try using filter that shows pages with errors as a segment and also add here another condition that says that I want to include pages that are internal and combine two conditions by end logic. Click on OK, then switch to Site Structure tab of Reports, click on Collapse All, and here I can see where all the pages with critical issues are located. Here I can see that 74% of pages with critical issues located in Forum subdomain, or vice versa. Try applying segment for a specific directory, like subdomain or folder, as a segment and switch to Issues tab. Thus, you can quickly find out the most widespread problems of a specific folder or subdomain. It may help you if you prioritize your work with a big website or you're working with a, in a team where each member is responsible for a specific group of pages or fixing a specific problem. Uh, and I want to say that after crawling, you can spend several hours just playing with different segments because you can use them for, a, for any parameter that you collect and you can combine them in any way it's necessary for your task. This approach may help you represent crawling results in a completely different point of view and it will help you understand the crawling results much better. Providing the best data for fixing SEO issues is one of the main tasks of Netpeak Spider. We have developed comprehensive and agile crawling settings to let you detect every problem within your project. More than 100 reports for websites issues are available instantly after crawling, so you don't have to waste your time in spreadsheets merging different tables just to create a task for your developers to fix canonical chains or add, alt add attributes to images. For those who want to explore their websites with microscope, we have a segmentation feature which can upgrade your workflow with crawling results, so don't be afraid to test it. Thanks a lot for watching. I would be happy to see you clicking the, the like button and subscribing to our channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in comments below or during an online demonstration, which you can book following the link in the video description, where my colleague will show you all the functionality of our tools and answer all your questions personally. I wish you a great day, great rankings and a lot of traffic. Bye-bye.